as far as I'm concerned, if you know me, I know you. So I know nothing about it, my life before, or nothing about it. Future, I only try to be good, honestly, to be truth, to be good, to be, be less harmful, to be as kind as possible, as much as I can. But I also wanted to study, start uh, this one, the fifth Dalai Lama's true system advice. True system. True system means system of, of normal, everyday, good human thing, behavior, and also dharma. Combine them together. So in the Tibetan historians will argue, some of them will say, true system is started by fifth Dalai Lama. They will say, Lusung or Lungi. They will say that. But true reality is not. Um, historically, counting and Baba Bodhi, the fifth Dalai Lama, was the first counting Lunyi Lapsha, a Lunyi, two system. Dharma system or Dharma spiritual or political system. So political system here two ways of thinking. Political system, some people will think political power system. Some people will think non-dharma activities are, general activities are to be put in the category of a political system. It's not a politics, it's not a political. However, it is every day life. So maybe the maybe the culture of a good human functioning and is this one system and dharma, the love, compassion and uh, care devotion, faith, principle. You know this, when you talk about spiritual, what does spiritual really mean? It is a big questionable every day, even today, among the spiritual leaders too. Definition of spiritual, to me it seems teacher by teacher. I was listening this morning, NPR, round about 6, 6.30. There was an interview with a physicist and, um, and uh, physicist, I'm sure many of you have heard, physicist are talking um, I think he's not talking, but he's quoting, and he worked with the Deepak Chopra. And um, so he was saying, Deepak Chopra was pushing me, even in the train stations in New York, and the restaurants here and there, pushing me to meditate, this and that. And uh, he is a total great faithful to his uh, spiritual thing. So, yes, meditation is part of spiritual, no doubt, provided if you are meditating for the right purposes. A meditation to me, you know, it's a very interesting if you look at it. Meditation is actually focusing, focusing. 
many meditations that we talk in the West is not so much focusing but sort of unfocused, open mind, openness, and letting it open, go, open, come, and all that type of thing is also called meditation. More, to some people, more the physical gesture is important than the real mental activity. To me, the meditation is mental activity, physically, wherever, whatever you are doing is fine. If you, if you can sit, cross a leg, keep your backbone straight, etc. If you do that, uh, that is a good gesture. Like our good old late Allen Ginsberg says, sit on the ground. Ground is not there. Sit on the chair. First thing to keep your backbone straight. So, and then, then you make it, you make a superpower meditate. Remember? <laughs> make, the, make a superpower meditate. Make a superpower meditate. He used to say that. So, Sure, but it is the gesture, physical. Mentally, open, sure, but pick up specific subject, focus. Strong concentration, strong focus, not so much interrupted by the thoughts, is Meditation depends on what subject you meditate. If you meditate a subject, a, a individual improving, becoming Buddha, better person, or such a type, is meditation on spiritual to me. The business people, some of the business people, can think, focus, concentrate so strongly on business. And that is meditation on business. And uh, there are people who can think their job very strongly without interruption. And when you are thinking about your job, you are, you are thinking, you are thinking, you don't notice other person giving you something. You don't see the other person. Other person may telling you good morning, you didn't hear, you don't see it. You're so focused. And that person is meditating on whatever the job they're thinking, work they're thinking, is meditation. Meditation to me is a beautiful uh, tool to be able to find better answer for good or bad, good or bad, without focusing no one can be success. No one. People would like to be successful, nice looking, look good. Cannot be without focusing on whatever you're doing. Cannot be. It won't be. Everything, whatever you do without focusing will be so-so. If you are overly focused, focused, and uh, can't do much, then you are losing your efficiency. Efficiency. Become slow and uh, efficiency. 
and that also disadvantage. So first and foremost is focusing whether it is the spiritual or material like business, politics, uh, economics, or scientific, or culture, or, or, or chemistry, or all of those, whatever subject you are doing, have to be focused. So, to be able to build basis of uh, both systems, within the individual, so learning, focusing, sort of really mind stabilization is the real number one key. So I like to be, uh, tell you this much uh, today.